In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the group isolation mode. So this is used for when you're trying to work on a piece of art, like let's say this one, I have a lot of different things on here, but I just want to work on this mascot here and I keep accidentally selecting the other things in the image. This is something that you can do to help with that. So first of all, you need to select a group. I already have my little mascot here. It's already grouped. If it's not, you can go to object, select all the pieces individually and say group. Mine are already grouped. All right, so I want to isolate just that. So what you can do if you're on a um, Windows computer, you can just right click on the image. If you have a Mac, you hold the control key and click on it and then you see this isolate selected group. I'm going to click on that. Now you can see that it dimmed everything else except for the thing I want to work on. So if I wanted to make edits to this logo and I kept accidentally selecting the other things before, it's just isolating the group so I can work just on that and not interfere with any of the other elements in the art. And then when you're done with that, you just right click or click the control key on the, the window and it'll go back to your normal editing modes.